Okay, so in order to be, before we begin uh, actually coding anything, it kind of helps to understand how a computer thinks and how a computer works. So the way we think is a lot different from how a computer actually thinks. So here's you. You know, you have experiences in your life. You have things that you know how to do and things that you don't even really have to think about doing. But let's say for one second that you reverted back to a child again. And you didn't really know how to do anything. You didn't know how to eat, how to drive, how to pretty much take care of yourself in any way, shape, or form. Now let's say that I was here and I'm trying to help you learn these things again. So if I wanted you to do a certain kind of task, I would have to tell you a, a few tasks that might lead up to that or a group of, of group of small tasks you might have that you might need to accomplish a larger task. Like if I was to tell you to go drive a car, first you might know have to know a, a series of smaller things to do that first, like say how to read, because it's going to be difficult to drive a car if you don't know how to read any of the numbers on the gauges or anything like that. Second of all, it might help to know how to, I don't know, move your limbs because it's going to be very difficult to turn a steering wheel if you cannot move your hands or your feet. And let's see what else. You're going to have to know how a road works. You know, say uh, driving laws, speed limits, things like that. So here's a list of tasks of, uh, of skills that you're going to need to know before you even start doing anything. And after that, I'm going to have to teach you step by step how to use this information in order to actually accomplish the task of driving. So. This is kind of how a computer works. It needs to first understand what it's going to be working with, and then it needs to be led step by step in how to do it, and how to accomplish a task. Because a computer sort of thinks in one step at a time, one thing at a time. It cannot uh, work in these sort of overarching thinking patterns that us humans have. We have these patterns where we can sort of think, I'm gonna go drive a car, so I'm just gonna go out, and I'm going to get in my car and drive. We don't really think of things in one step at a time, like I'm going to move one foot in front of the other until I get to my car, then I'm going to extend my hand and open the door, then I'm going to turn the key. You know, we don't, we don't really think of it like this, but a computer is forced to. So when you're programming, remember to think like that. You are smarter than the machine. That's the first thing that they will teach you. It's one of the first things they will tell you in a computer science class is that humans, Humans, sorry, pen, are always smarter than computers. Okay, computers are dumb. They're dumb. Like, and I don't mean like in sort of a general sense, it's like all oh, computers are dumb. I mean computers cannot think for themselves. They 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 can't. You have to give them a series of tasks. And in a lot of ways, we like to think computers can think for themselves, but really all that is is just a series of singular tasks that are made to make a computer look like it can think for themselves or for, for itself. So that's what you have to keep in mind when you're programming is that you are doing something one step at a time. Think of it sort of like as if you were, um, you had a recipe for baking a cake. You would do everything one step at a time in an order that made sense. You would mix the you would uh, mix the ingredients in a bowl you would pour it in a pan you would put it in the oven and cook it you wouldn't do these things out of order and uh, you wouldn't do these things in sort of a, a a a grouping that wouldn't make any sense like say uh like say if i was to do well see that's kind of a bad example because i did say just put everything into the into the um into the bowl but if i just said make the cake you know and you had no idea how to make a cake, you, you wouldn't know what to do. So think about a computer like that. It has to be walked through step by step. You have to very much so uh, treat a computer like, like it's almost as if it is like a child. And you have to walk it through step by step as if you're teaching it something for the first time.